Robert L. Dean, we got a great interview today, don't we? <laughs> yes, this gentleman is doing his thing across the country, lifting up the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Who do we got with us today, Brother Robert? Yes, we have Mr. Pee Wee Collins. He's with Rev Nation with our sister Denise Tishner, and he's doing some wonderful things. Welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. LT and Robert Earl Dean. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? All right. Man? We're good. We, we can hear you now, so we're really good. <laughs> yeah, P -P yes, sir, man. So glad to be here, my brother. Okay, Pee Wee, I'm just going to be just straight up and just, you know, ask you some questions. And so I, I want to ask the question. I want you to be honest with me. Yes, sir. Uh, are you in your kid's room? No, I'm actually in my studio, man. I'm, uh -huh. I was trying to be by my piano. But my uh, <laughs> no, that's 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 my albums up there, man, uh, and all of my tour tour badges and uh -huh. everything right, behind. Right. <laughs> okay, when so you said I'm in my kids' room because because yeah. I, I kept seeing these little kids' picture up there, and I'm like I'm like saying that's, that's when I was young. That's okay, I, I was once young. I once was young, but now I'm old. Now is that a Sears yes. photo right there? Is, is that that Sears photo that you go and you get that one pose for the whole family? <laughs> <laughs> that was 1994 with uh that was with sound of the gospel out of detroit that was what they made me do for my first album man when oh I, when i was a young kid so, so you you yeah. were sound the gospel i was with sound the gospel in 1994 um, through 2000 that was yolanda adams first label as a solo artist it, just it, as exactly. i am produced by That's thomas right. whitfield and the clark sisters That's and the clock sisters. Thomas yeah. Whitfield was one of the yes. executive producers for Sound of Gospel. Praise the yeah, Lord. Exactly. I want to get back. Can I get back <laughs> to the photos? A legendary record label. Can I get back to the photos? <laughs> yes, praise God. Okay. I, 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 I'm, I, no, I thought I, we was done with the photos. No, I'm back to the photos because okay. I've seen some other stuff in the room. Help yourself. Can I talk about the room? Yes, help yourself. It's in the room. It's in the room. It's in the room. It's in the room. So, so yeah. I see a guitar uh, uh, in, in, in the room. So does that mean you're going to sing something for us this morning? Man, I may do a little stuff off the pill. I, I really pick around the good. So I was by my piano, and I probably would have did something by the piano, but it, but my camera wouldn't stay up on the uh, on the tripod. So I had to come in, in my studio in my office, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, now that we done got all of that, Robert O'Dean, you know, I'm going to let you go first, and then I'm going to go second. Well, how did you get started in the recording side of it all? Because, you know, many people sing in church, but how did you take it to the next level in getting started? That's why I started, man, in church uh, at the age of four years old. My grandfather church, he was the pastor of Gospel Tabernacle. Started there. Later on, uh, make it quick, later on after that, after graduating from high school mm -hmm. in 1992, I moved to Atlanta, started doing R&B, uh, tried to run away from God yes. and all of that, man. Was about to sign a major deal with Sony, but an angel came to the club, man, and rescued me out of the club. And it was amazing. Uh, this lady, I ne never never saw her before in my life. Uh, right after I got finished woo woo wooing and all of that and, and begging, she said, son, you're going to lose your life if you don't get out of this club and get back where you're supposed to be. That next couple of days, I moved back to Florida. And uh, and I was in, 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 in 94 and recorded my first uh, gospel uh album with 60 of my family members, uh, wow. Pee Wee Cowens and family. <laughs> wow. And uh, started from there. But it wasn't until, uh, well, I recorded in 2004 with Beat Mark Sony Records, then, uh, but been pastoring. But it wasn't until 2019 I really got the break that God had for me. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tease all, all everybody out there because so many people, have you, have you noticed that they put that Sony on it because Sony got that credibility? Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm gonna start uh, putting Jesus on the back of everything I do because I think Jesus got a little bit more credibility. I'm like saying, yeah, Mandate Records, Jesus. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and, that, and that's, all, that's all you got to do. You know, and, and, and the reason why I'm saying that is because, you know, um, so many times a lot of people associate success with branding True. versus mm -hmm. realizing that uh, God has already made you successful because wow. of what you are doing at this point right. in your life. And what he calls and you to do. One of the things about it is that 
uh, there's a blessing for you because you were obedient when you were given the warning. There's some folks that get the warning. And I said, that ain't God, but you were being obedient and you went to the call that God had on your life. So all My you God. can do is go up. My God. Yes, but you, sir. But you know and, what? And the thing is, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, go no, ahead, you go. Brother. You go. You go. And the thing is, too, and I said, you know, I really got the break in 2019. That's when I began to travel with, you know, Travis Green. Uh, I was on the commission tour as the speaker of the tour, not an artist, but the speaker. But but the process, mm -hmm. a lot of artists, a lot of people don't want to go through the process. Come on. Because I recorded my first album in 94, but the break really didn't come until 2019 because God was developing me. Come on. Even during that time, because sometimes our character can't keep us in the place where God wants us. Now so you he has Boy, he has he has to develop us, but a lot of people don't want to get developed and don't want God to put their his hands on them because when he when he developed you, he takes out stuff that you thought you needed, Come but on. It, it was really gonna tear you up, man. Now <laughs> now people you preaching and when you were talking earlier it's amazing how God can send somebody where you are or he can come where you are when you end up the, the down mm -hmm. low, when you at the, the end of your row, God will still send some help your way. That's the kind of God we serve. And that's the amazing yes, grace sir. of God. Yes, yeah. sir. So let me ask you this question. You made the journey back home. You recorded your first album with 60 of your family members. He didn't say 16. He said 60. He didn't say six. The, 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 you said 60, right? 60. 60. Okay, so let me ask you a question. How was it working with your family on that first Ooh. album? Was there anybody in your family like, why he get to sing all the lead? Why can't right. I sing? Right. A actually, man, it, it was great, man. It, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm five, six in statue, but they know not to play with me, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, no, it was, it was really my family coming on board to help me fulfill my dream because my, my family in the small city saw me walk away from college, uh, college football scholarships, uh, even though I'm, I'm five, six basketball, trite scholarships, because I really wanted to, uh, I wanted to do ministry and sing. A lot of people thought I was crazy, but my family, uh, they stuck by me and helped push me um, to fulfill my dream in uh, ministry and uh, in music. Wait a minute. You said you did what sport? I played football, man. I was what a, else? I was what all else? state receiver. Keep going. Keep going. Basketball. And what's the last Basketball. A track. You was a track athlete? I was a track athlete. I jumped 22 four in the long jump. And uh, 10, 10, 10, 9 in the hundred, but I can't run, run a, run a tab now. <laughs> okay, you, you, I, I, I like you already because I'm a track and field coach of thirty three years. There you go, Doc. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, so I want you to help me dispel this rumor. The rumor that I heard was when you was playing football and you was running the ball, you was actually singing singing at the same time and that's how it kept your rhythm going that you was able to get around folk you know that you had a song on your heart yes sir i was saying lord don't let him hit me jesus don't, <laughs> don't let him hit me right. <laughs> uh, uh, you know I, if somebody in the background was like running for your life <laughs> right right now, now now where the preaching come from when did you start pastoring how did you transition because that's a big transition to go from being an r b singer to a gospel singer then to the preaching really all of my life i knew it was a calling on my life to be a minister of the gospel and and i really i really knew it even in high school even in elementary people called me real me too uh, because they knew my family <laughs> my grand you know my grandparents raised me my yeah. grandfather my father um was a pastor my uncles but it, it not family business i knew that was my calling wow so in 1998 um, i became senior pastor a 23 year senior pastor man in the town that i was i was raised in and uh so you know that's got to be a calling it has to be, it has to be. <laughs> and uh but I, I i always knew man even though i was the smallest on the football field, the basketball court in Trite, they always made me the captain. Even when I was uh, a sophomore in, in, in high school, the seniors saw the leadership skills in me and made me captain. So, so Rev, Rev, let me ask you the question. You know, uh, you in that uh, little small town, the question comes in, if we come down to this small town, 
uh, uh, where's the best eating spot in your small town? Because I know he all the, I know the rep, I know the Reben got 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 to know the best spots. Look here, we got we got Fred Marcus, we got Steps, a uh, uh, Soul Food. Uh, man, we got some. We got Big John's Barbecue right there by Tampa. If you want to come over there, mm-hmm. uh, we got we got everybody got a church's chicken, so we ain't gonna stop by church's chicken. Right. If, yeah. <laughs> we got but, man. We got and my wife, man, my wife going on twenty five years in December, December six. She can throw down too. Now she's a pretty girl, but she only cooked twice a year. But I'm gonna get in trouble for that. One, <laughs> but when she cook, man, she can throw down also, man. And I got a cooking family. So wait a minute, you mean to tell me yo you shit you said that she pretty, but she only cooked twice a year. What those two days she cook on? No, that's uh that's Thanksgiving uh-huh. and New Year. That's Thanksgiving and New Year's. But 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 I do all the cooking. I love to cook. I cook uh-huh. for the family. I cook every other day when I'm not on the road, man. Uh-huh. Uh, grandmother taught me, man. So actually I love for her to come home, just sit down and let me feed her, bro. <laughs> okay, so we come over to your house and get some greens and cornbreads with some catfish? And eat it with your fingers. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> you preaching, Pastor. Right. Preach now, on. Now, now, now Pete, we, what, what what church did you grow up in? Because the name sound Kojic. Like, like it's a Kojic or Pentecostal church. It went from, it, they were Kojic back in the days, but it was House of God, Saints of Christ, Pentecostal. Yes, yes, Pentecostal. So it was a break, uh, a branch off Kojic. But for 23 years, we've been independent, but we, we turn a cost to it. I run on chairs, I speak in tongues, flip, roll, Land hands. do cockwheels. You look at him. Look at him. <laughs> but, man, we, we just love to uh, worship. Uh, worship. We, we, we knew it was called called Pentecostal because a name like that. They ain't yeah. no Baptist church name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it sounded all like that. So <laughs> you, have they always called you Pee Wee? Always call me Pee Wee. I'm, I'm probably... We need to do a survey all over the country. I'm probably the only one have their nickname on their high school diploma. On on. Uh, Can you on tell your members school... to stop calling you? Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, on my high school diploma, and I put it on Disturb too, so they they got a they got a di- direct connection. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, on my high school diploma is Calvin Earl P. Wee Callen. Wow. Why his government name? Wow. And, and, <laughs> and, and so my question is, how in, in making a transition, going back, you know, because you know how they say Jesus could not perform a lot of miracles in his own home mm-hmm. uh, for the unbelief of the people. Mm-hmm. How has it been for you to come back and, and literally pastor in the, in the area that you grew up in? Um, uh, how, how have they transitioned their level of uh, respect for you as you move forward into this this one very interesting when um different people come to speak or they visit the ministry they really can't believe that i'm from there because they see the work that uh, god has you know done Mm -hmm. through my wife and i Mm -hmm. and the respect the that the community gives me um is is awesome and it's really i really believe that uh, some of the blessings that my grandfather had, mm-hmm. Elder Rudolph Callens, uh, was passed down to me. And that that name, that name, your name shall be great. Yes. Uh, the the respecting of the name, man, has really been been good. I, if you ever heard of the Florida uh, Strawberry Festival, it's one of the biggest festivals in the country. Mm-hmm. Bring all the the country stars and and different R and B stars. Out of eighty five years. I'm the first uh, African American black male to ever wear a red jacket, and I'm the first one to ever be on the festival board. So that speaks volume. Yes. That's all over Florida. Yes. So the respect of that good name. And my grandfather always told me, "Keep your name good." Oh, come on, and uh, and that goes before you. Man. Come on, my, ma- come ma- on. Ma- now, brother, I want to know that this, this the the word on the street is is that. When you come to your church, you turn no one away. If they got a need, you will help meet that need. Is that that true? Man, that is true, man. That is uh, that is the heart. That is the heart of the partners at Greater New Hope. That's the heart of my wife and I. Um, I'm talking about whatever need. We turn no one away because all of us. My, my father, man, I'm, I'm kind of dealing. That's why I was kind of I'm kind of dealing, man. My father, I lost my father. 
in July of this year. Wow. He was a pastor. I was on my way, actually, man, to pick him up, to take him to Fort Myers, to his church, to take some chairs. And my and my, my stepmom, which I call her mom, um, called me and told me she couldn't wake up my dad. And uh, today, man, is his birthday. And mm. check this out. Every day he slept until 10 o'clock. So not only is the day his birthday, uh, this interview happened at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So um, being there for people. So I I've been preaching a, a sermon, uh, the man cave, because after I lost my father, man, mm -hmm. I found myself in a man cave. Mm -hmm. And I found myself becoming angry. I found myself, man, um, wants to do things that I know wasn't godly because I started dealing with me. Never mm. let yourself deal with you. So in knowing that, we all have some stuff God needs to heal. Come so on. we don't turn away nobody. I don't care what you got on. I don't care your history. I don't care your story. I don't care what they called you before you got there, bro. We all have something for God to work on. So we ain't turn away nobody, bro. Well, man, I appreciate that because I'm coming to your church because I have a need. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I don't want you to turn me away. <laughs> I have a financial need. <laughs> hey, now, that one, that one, we don't you turn don't, me don't away. Turn, turn, turn him on to Jesus. It all, it all depends on what you're going to ask for. Hey, remember what you get you in a 1099 at the end of the year. Praise right. the Lord. Right. It, it, now, 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 my question to you is, what artists have you worked with and who would be your dream artist to work with now? Man, I, 2019 was an amazing year for me. Um, I began to travel as, like I said, the speaker. I speak for Children International, Child Fund, World Vision on major tours. So I was on tour with Travis Green for 24 shows. I went out with JJ uh, Harrison. I work with Kirk. Kirk has preached for me. Bishop South has preached. I went out, I was on the commission tour as their speaker. So wow. uh, God has really blessed me to work with wow. some major, major, major artists. Now I would love to record, record a song uh, with Travis, uh, our Bishop uh, uh, Sap, but now, now I'm gonna go, uh, 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 I'm gonna cross the other, the field who I would love to do a song um, a gospel song with is Mary J, man. I, I can, I can, I, I can hear Mary J hollering on one of my tracks, bro. That's one of my favorite. Come on through. <laughs> you church. need me to call Mary up and make that happen. Go ahead and call Mary because you, you know, know my wife. Hey, my wife gonna cook some collard greens dressing and everything. We gonna have it for you now when y'all get. There. Okay, because you know, you know, Mary, she, you know, she don't want no problems, but you know, she'll go ahead and she want no more know, drama. Yeah, no more drama. No more drama, dog. <laughs> that's a bad. That's a bad. That's a bad girl. She has so much soul. It's hard yes, to find people to sing with her compassion. You know who I would like to see him sing a who? solo with or, or duet with? Uh, um, what, what baby girl? You know, baby girl, the one that holler a lot. Fantasia. Fantasia. Now, fa listen, Fantasia. Uh, uh, we we got Fantasia coming to Plant City. Uh, okay. Uh, for the stuff, if everything work out. Now that's who I'm talking about. Fantasia, I would love to do something. I may take the mic from her up here when she comes to play and say, No, I'm not. This, no, no, this, this, <laughs> this, 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 this is what you do. It's all in how you how you introduce Your her. Approach. See, yeah. see, see, when you introduce her, you you start off with the grandiose and then you sing her on stage, mm -hmm. and then yes, she'll come, she'll come with it. Yes, she and will. She, and she'll be like, stay right here, stay right here. We're gonna right. do this. Because she's a church girl. Man. She's a church girl. You know, I, I tell folks all the time that God puts you in position yeah. to be blessed. You know, we were doing an interview with John P. Key and the Wikipedia of gospel over there. That's what we call them, Wikipedia. Uh, he, mm -hmm. he he asked John, he said, John, if, if I could just ask one, uh, Uncle John, can I ask this one favor? Will you remake, what was the song called? Um, There is Hope. There is Hope. And, and John said, man, you got some oil because we just finished doing that. And because you asked for it, I'm going to put you on the track. You feel what I'm saying? So yes, here's the sir. thing that I want to say to you. You have connected with probably one of the, you know, I'm Miss Tishner. You the know, they, you know, I have to, you know, cause that I, I want to call her a nickname, but I ain't got permission yet to call her that, that nickname. But she's my sister. That's Tish Tish. You know, so see, he 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 go to 
but I'm waiting for a phone call from her husband before I call her my nickname. So she's going to yeah. always be Miss Tishna Davis. You know yeah, what I'm my, saying? That's Tish Tish. But uh, you connected with her. What brought you to Rev Nation with all the people that you connected with? Right. You connect with this beautiful uh, soul. It was through a friend, man, uh, one of my songwriters and one of my one of my great, uh, great friends, Antonio Neal. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I, yeah. Uh, yes. I, I was just on tour with Mercy Me. Um, OK. And and he he sent me a song just out of the blue. And uh, so I flew out to Houston to, to hear it and, and to work on it. And he said, man, I've got to introduce you to uh, one of my good friends. Mm -hmm. And he sent her the song, and within minutes, she called. And uh, I'm talking to her, you know, several times on the on, on the phone and everything. Uh, but last week, I said, let me pull up. Man, I remember her singing on Bobby Jones. Yes, I sir. I my hair. Come now, on. When her, her and Leandra song and, yes. and, 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 and Sister Titch came out there. With that Pentecost and just started hollering. I had to rub my hair, but I felt like hollering like a preacher. I got I'm chill like, bumps. Come and on. She called me. I say, I remember that Sunday. Yep. And uh it was just a blessing because you know names. Yep. But uh thank God for you know Google and and YouTube where we yes. can really look. I'm like, I've been listening to you for so long. But to know uh her history in in just music, yep, and just her willing to serve. Yep. Man, man, because we got a lot of people out there want to take your money and do different things, but when someone willing to serve and to pray for you and to push you Come on. And in spite of that's the people you want to be connected with. You you're right, you're right, Pee Wee. And um she has so much history in this industry. The first female artist signed to Ty Scott, the only African-American owned record label mm -hmm. in the country or the longest owned. I mean, just amazing. And then her people have integrity at Rev Nation. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like you said, in this industry, people don't always tell the truth or they don't follow through. And they charge mm -hmm. you all this money. You never see the fruits of that labor. So you 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 with, mm -hmm. you with some good people. Well, you, you know, I want to I want to say that, um, you know, Miss Tishner Davis, um, you know, everybody trying to call you pastor. They 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 trying to everybody say pastor. Y'all see, I'm on the radio. Yeah. Just listen. Just listen. So, Tune in. Yeah. <laughs> Stop saying amen. So you want me to hear? It. Just write it in the feed. <laughs> well, well, people, so, sing, sing us a little something right quick because everybody's requesting it, including Denise Tishner. Oh wow, um, man! This morning I woke up with a uh, a little hymn um, on me, man. Like I said, today's my dad's birthday. And, and I woke up heavy, man. Yes. So, um, and then I got to go old school and say, I need the old. I need thee. Sing it, Mary. I, I need thee. Oh, bless Jeez. me now, my Savior. I, I come to Jesus. come to thee. Yeah. Now, 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 come on, sir. Yes, yes. Now, Leonard, give, yeah, give yeah, him yeah. your sing like you do yeah. when, you, when you do your yeah, sing. Hey, hey, hey. Sing. sing right now. The doors of the it's church is now open. I want everybody to come. <laughs> and, and and if you have a if your if your spirit is low this morning, we want oh, you to come. God. You know, but brother, you know, okay, so I got so, so I, I, I yes. got something in my spirit right now. What is it? And my spirit is is that you and Miss Tishna Davis need to come down here to mandate records, and I need to get a duet with you two, you know, in that same vein. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I'm going to call it uh, uh, Unplug Worship. My God. You feel what I'm saying? And we just go, we just go turn on the mic 
and let worship go forth Jesus. and watch God wow. do what he does. Hallelujah. You feel what I'm wow. saying? Yeah, but he, he know how to get me and you because we, we Kojic. Mm -hmm. And when you start saying yes, you be ready <laughs> yeah, to kick, yeah. you be ready to kick over <laughs> kick over tables. Mm -hmm. You ready to take out false teeth. Mm -hmm. You be willing to, to take well, well, loose your buttons, everything. You, you know, one of the things about it, I, I want to say this because a lot Jesus. of us have lost our parents. My, my, my dad right now is in the battle of his life. Um, he got COVID. And you you take in this 82 year old man Jesus. who was vibrant, uh, um, driving, driving mobile homes, climbing on ladders and everything to a person right now that can barely walk, you, uh, let alone talk. And my mom has gone on to glory. Um, a lot of my family members have gone on to glory. And the one thing I want to encourage you this, my brother, is simply this. The thing that your father has instilled in you. Jesus comes forward each and every day and it's like uh when they think of when they say they look at me they say i see your mama Jesus. they'll say that's lydia's son you i'm my mother's look-alike my sister is my father's look-alike but the father that raised you and the father that you are missing today know this he ain't gone he's Ooh. right there with you and everything and when, and when the birthdays come and everything else that's a season of joy because the bottom line is when you begin to think about what he instilled in you in that relationship, you get to do it all over again for another young man. And and, yes, and that right there is the blessing. I I've, I've I've cherished um uh, my time with my my father, my parents. Um but I also realized that they left me with a legacy and they left me with something so that I can go ahead and instill it in someone else. And so you got a treasure trove within you. And right then and there, you just touch thousands of people yes. just with your voice. Just flat. Wow. Just with your just voice. Flat and I could and, and I know when you sung that song from heaven, they will say, wait, hold on, hold on. Pee Wee singing. You know what I'm saying? And God is saying, and I'm yet pleased. Yeah. You know, so I want to encourage you to, to, to be encouraged today. Know that your daddy, your daddy said, that's my son. The chest is still Ooh, stuck well out. With. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. And like you said, you the only African-American that ever had a red jacket. Come on now. Not a green jacket. You know, golf, a, red a red jacket. jacket. You know what I'm saying? You've been oh, traveling God. and everything else. When you realize the legacy that your grandfather left you, your father left you, and now you are leaving it for someone else. Man, carry on, carry on, carry on. I have my wow, last. I have yes, my last sir. question. Yes, sir. If yes, sir. I gave you three million dollars in your in your community, and I said let's put on the Pee Wee Collins Presents concert, they could be dead or alive. What artist would you have? My God, my God. Well, 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 well you first, can't have God, don't you? I mean, he's going uh, he, he, he to be there already. Be there already. Did, 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 did you hear him call the time? My, my God, God, my God, God my God. Yeah. I was like, say, wait a minute, you can't put him yeah. on. If he comes, then we all leave it. Well, he's going to be there. I, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I, I know, I'm, I know, I'm, I know I'm pastor. But mm. the first, the first one going to be on there to make sure the people there. I got the brain prince. <laughs> I got yeah. The brain print yeah. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Prince got something. I got the brain print. Okay. Then I got the brain I got the brain my boy Rance. I've got to I've got the brain, you know, I got the brain commission. Yes. I got the brain Travis. I got the brain Mary J. I got to bring because I want to make sure that ministry happens. Yes. Because we we going to draw them but by the end of the night they gonna know that Christ lives, that he got, that he died on the cross. He got up got on the up. third day. The yeah. ministry is gonna happen, so we gonna have something there for everybody. We may even bring Dollar Parton for the country. We, Come on, we, you know, because we gonna make sure everybody's there because we don't want to reach one half of the community. Yes. we want to reach the whole. Community. That's good. Uh, I'm I'm struggling because you because 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 you you miss you miss one more person. You miss one more person. Who, who was to, that? You, yeah, yeah, my right there, and 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 you know Denise gonna be there, coach. They're yeah. gonna, but we gonna do our, we gonna do our hit that day that we recorded right there. Yeah, at, at, at the studio. Yeah, See, that, that's yeah. Good. And, you feel what I'm saying? And and, and they, I, I'm anointed. I, I'm anointed. Uh, uh, to be able to be in, in the crowd because, see, at one point, it's going to get really, really high, and we're going to need to quiet them down for them to hear it, and I'm going to come up and go, shh. And, you know, that right there, there's an anointing on the shush. He's a shusher. <laughs> He's a shusher for Jesus. 
Man, we gonna need the tamarind now too. Now we gonna yeah. need the tamarind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, well, I, I want you to know, my friend, that we are enjoying this interview with yes. you. We look forward to working with you in the future. Yes, bring you, him to San Diego. You, you, you got a home here, you know, and I'm gonna tell you why. Not because you know Denise Tishner is on the radio station here. Not because she's our sister and we love her dearly. Uh, but you know, it just seemed like everybody she bring to us. We love them, too, and we bring them on in. Yeah. So now you got a home based out of San Diego, hitting the world in over 21 countries. Yes, sir. We are going to continue to play your music yes, sir. and let you know that you have a family on the West Coast. So whenever you start your travels again, you be like, say, doop, 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 doop. Denise, uh, give me my brother's numbers. I'm going to San Diego, L.A., and all those things. The most beautiful I mean, city in the country. Yes, yes, yes. Robert, any final words? No, man. This has just been a pleasure. Your, your your spirit, your personality, and you drew me because you can flat foot sing. I'm not into the fluff. I'm into the flat foot anointed singing, and, and you got wow. it. No, wow, thank you. I want you to tell people how they can find you, and, and then watch this. I want you to introduce your song, but I want you to also say who's featured on it because I, I, I don't even want to mess that name up. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at uh, peeweecallens.com. Uh, Pee Wee Callens. That's Callens with a a. Mm -hmm. um, dot com. Like like Collins, but Callens. Like, like y'all yeah. like, Collins him. Y'all better Collins him. But it's Cal Ca Callens. Callens. Yes. Callens. Yeah. 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 And uh, man, I, I just have to say, man, to my wife, I love her, man. Doctor Tandra Callens. We'll be married twenty five years in December. Wow. December six. Our beautiful children, Caladria. CJ Caleb, I love them so much. Wait, wait, you know? so wait, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Caladria? Caladria. Who came is up with my that name? name? My wife. Uh, Caladria is uh, my the, the first of my name, Calvin, and the end of her name, Tandria. Okay, so uh, so the, the Caladria, when, 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 did she ever come up to y'all one day and be like, really, y'all? Y'all had to combine my name? Or did, <laughs> or did she say, oh, that was innovative, mom and dad? She said nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, is the doctor around? She's actually, man. She's God has blessed her. She she runs and owns a charter school for all ESC kids. Oh wow! Uh, children with uh, special needs, feeding tubes from K through twenty two years old. Wow! Uh, so she's a speech pathologist and she has a PhD in special ed. So she stayed busy, man, and. Uh, so God is uh, is using her. She is also a book writer. You can look her up, Doctor Tandria Callen. Okay. And uh, man, tell her we do everything but sing. Yeah, tell <laughs> tell her we're gonna get her back on here and we're gonna interview her too because we're educators wow. too. And so we we love educators, and she's in a field that a lot of people are afraid to go into or don't have the willpower to go into. So shout out to your beautiful wife. We know how to get you to all three of your children, especially the one y'all combined the name of. But thank God for ju <laughs> for Junior, you know. Now tell us and introduce this song, and tell us the, everything about this song. Man, this song is till the world, and it came you know during the time where everything uh, was just going haywire. Uh, with George Floyd, with folding, with different things. And this young lady, I am Dolce, uh, she just signed with Kendrick Lamar, R&B. She's not mm. gospel, uh, but she she heard me sing. And uh, she asked me to do this track with her. Wow. And she really wrote a lot, the majority of it. And I came on, and it was in a time where she needed some... Um, some someone positive in her life also but god is really blessed her. like she's in la doing it big uh, yeah. now so this this song is till the world comes around and i believe god is taking this thing around and 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 what's last gonna be first you better mm -hmm. believe that you better and we believe coming it. up and i can't and i can't wait till i see my brothers and sisters take their place in line well, here you go, Till the World, right here from Pee Wee Collins, our brother out there in Flotita. Collins, amen. <laughs> really? Did you, just, did you just really correct me after I was doing yes, that great introduction? Did. Yes, it was a beautiful introduction. Okay, how about you do it this time? Because don't make a mistake, I'm going to correct you. Don't, you Ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing it hot to you off. 
G-O-D Radio, on one, one Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. LT and Robert O'Dean. Pee-wee Cowlins. What's the name of the song? You didn't say it. Yes, I did. <laughs> See, see, see how, see there? Okay, let, let's do it again. This song is called Till the World featuring Pee Wee Callens. Right here on GLDRadio1.com. <laughs>